What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's up guys, welcome back. Uh, we are going in with part two of uh, our recommended deck from our friend Adam on Instagram. Thank you very much, Adam. Uh, we are testing out his uh, blue-white flyers list. Uh, there's a lot of these running around. I've seen a few different kinds. This one um, is pretty straightforward. It's a pretty like base level list, I think. Uh, we were actually in game one uh, of the first video uh, up against a, a similar list, I will say, uh, that turned out to be really, really interesting. Now, this is an interesting hand. Um, we do have a nice one to... Okay, that obviously isn't going to count. Um, <laughs> we will uh, we'll go ahead and jump into an actual game one. Uh, that was an interesting hand. I think I was leaning towards keeping it, but it was a bit close. Uh, we'll see if we can get an actual game one in. Uh, we'll give this our normal three games again, uh, and that'll probably be it for this list. I want to try a different version of this. Uh, again, the, the first deck we were up against in the uh, game or video one was really really interesting and I kind of want to test out and see if that one's good um, this one's very standard but not bad uh, let's do this let's do this I'm assuming yeah that makes sense well that's bad for us um, this hand was full of like the wrong mana cost but uh, I mean that helps let's draw a couple Okay. We're gonna have a bit of a rough time against this deck, no lie. Um, this guy is sweet. Oh, and they've got Feather now. Okay, well, that's a problem. Um, that, that. Hmm. I'm gonna pass here. Uh, it should have bounced. That was a mistake. There we go. Just means they can't replay it this turn. And we get a free attack in here. Um, let's push on a Staggering Insight. If they've got a Shock, that's going to feel quite bad. Yep. Not good, not good. Really wish we had a second white source. That would be sweet. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, having 20 lands is rough, guys. Uh, if you didn't see part one, um, you should really check it out. Uh, I mean, we're gonna. Whoops. Okay, come on now. Well, we're gonna block here, but they've they've got it. Yeah. All right. Well done, opponent. Um, unfortunately, that was a very clean win. We just did not get much. Uh, not, I, I gotta be honest, this deck needs something. It needs a lot, potentially. But, uh, you know, it's fun to try out new stuff, so it's worth it. Let's get into game two. That was a very quick game, by the way. We're only at four minutes in. Excuse me, almost four minutes in. Um, yeah, I don't know. This deck, uh, like, I really like the concept of just having a really good standard blue-white flyers list. Don't think this is it, uh, to be brutally honest. I think the, the Luru, uh, or Luro, or whatever it is, uh, version of this list that we were up against first was really sweet. Um, but even that list, I don't know that it has the legs to make it. It's definitely not tier one. Um, I mean, you look at something like a Garuda deck, or a Winota Jeskai deck, or even Jeskai Fires... You're looking at some really, really powerhouse stuff. And I think a deck like this has the ability to sneak in those wins because it just happens to have flyers and some of those decks aren't going to have a lot. We saw that with the Garuda deck uh, in video one. Um, but nine times out of ten, I think you're going to get into a situation where you just get outclassed. Um, 
I think, you know, like a Jeskai Fires list right now has Sphinx of Foresight, um, which, you know, even with a couple of Imperion Eagles out, you're going to be running into a 4-4, and you don't necessarily have the power level to, to get through that. Weird that we keep running into these circumstances. Okay. Uh, not sure why we got draw. Can we... Yeah, there we go. That was weird. Uh, we'll jump into game two, hopefully. We'll try. Um, so yeah, I just... I think you're going to, more often than not, run into issues where it's just not going to work the way you want it to. This draws a lot of cards. It gets a lot of things on the board, and that's great. But there's so much damage dealing stuff out right now that I just don't think it's enough, uh, is all I will say. This hand's actually quite good. We've got a lot of 1-1s, one -ones, which is perfect for a Staggering Insight. What we'll do is we'll lean on the Spectral Sailor, I think, here. <clears throat> because it allows us to flash it out um, and just kind of protects us a little bit. Looks like we're against the Hexproof Enchantments deck, uh, which is quite good. Let's get this out. Let's get Staggering Insight going. Um, and I do think this is a better play than dropping out the Skycap. <clears throat> uh, especially against this list where removal is not prominent, we will say. Um, this is a cool list. We played this pre Akoria, actually. Um, and it was actually one of the deck suggestions. Again, call out to Adam. Thank you very much. Uh, this was one of the lists that he kind of recommended. Um, I, I've already played a similar list, so I'm not going to play it again. Um, but it is a cool deck. Like, it's, it's fine. Uh, it's... I don't think, uh, good enough for tier 1 standard by any means. But, I mean, it's got some legs. You get some really cool plays out of it. Um, it just... You know, with like in this situation, for instance, they have no flyers, so maybe we'll win. We'll see. What are they going to get rid of? Sure, that makes sense. That's fine, and we'll take a hit here. Um, no blocks. Let's get that out. Let's get that out. We're just going to flood the board here. Um, we're pretty safe to flood the board as much as we want. Um, if anything, it just makes their banishing lights a lot worse. So, and We do have lethal next turn, so they do have to do something here. And that's something. I mean, that's pretty good. Draw a couple cards here first, just so we can pump this guy up. I mean, they're going to be tossing away an Archon here, which feels pretty bad, I'm sure. I guess we could have attacked with everything, but um, I don't think it's going to matter too much here. Um, my assumption is they're in a bad place. Yeah, good game. Um... Like, this is a cool card. This does, you know, wonders in this deck, but we block it with a 1-1, one, one, you know? I mean, if they have Trample, great. Uh, so Tess and Training on this, with this, is fantastic, and that's very, very good. But we, I mean, they've got a 10-12, and we're going we're gonna to gain a life out of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not... That's what I'm saying. Like, that's not a good matchup. Um, so, well done. We actually got a win out. That, that's good. Uh, let's jump to game three and see how we do. This video is probably going to be a fairly quick one. Uh, we're only at nine minutes now. Not bad, not bad. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these. Uh, as always, if you've got a deck list, please, please make sure to share it. We really would appreciate it. Uh, looks like another Luris deck. Um... Like, yeah, I mean, I think we keep this. Um, we've got a 1-2 play. And depending on what we draw, I mean... Oh, very miscreant. Um, let's do that. Let's 
playing castle. That always feels bad when you play a castle without the, the basic land out. Uh, ran this way, by the way, to protect ourselves a little bit against uh, some removal. Cool. Let's do this. Gain a couple life, draw the card. Uh, they, I'm sure, have something to kill this. Uh, the, the thing that you really want to do, though, is get this underway as early as possible. Not only are you going to mitigate some of this life uh, loss that you're going to be getting from this, but uh, you also just get a, a really nice threat out. Um, we'll play this, and I think we'll play this. Might have been better, actually, to play the Skybonder, but we're going to gain a little bit more life this way. Um, and, of course, draw our card, so I think it's worth it. Um, it's a cool card here. It's a cool deck. But I think here, like, they can attack with this, and we just... I kind of just don't think we do anything. I don't really care. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna swing in first, I think. I think that's the correct thing to do. Rally, that's not bad. Um, let's do this, just to make it difficult for them to target anything. Uh, and when I say difficult, I say near impossible, really. <laughs> um, and we'll see what we can do. Might have been better to play this out because it's more of a lethal threat if we've got, you know, if we play the following turn, Healer's Hawk and Fairy Miscreant, for instance, like we've actually got a lethal board at that point, but I think that um, this just kind of seals the deal that they're not going to be able to do much to us, um, which is very, very important. And obviously, you know, they can attack in here, that's fine, they can sacrifice stuff, they can do whatever, but um, we're at 20 life still, thanks to Staggering Insight, so I'm not super worried about that. Um... They're also stuck on lands, it looks like, which I'm sure feels very, very bad. Um, and I certainly feel bad for them, but I'm going to take advantage of it. You got to. Uh, again, I kind of just don't care. We can take the damage. Um, doesn't, doesn't really do much. Uh, I'm just going to do this. They have no mana. I mean, let's just make it a quick one, right? Um, cool. Well, we got there with the perfect 20 life. Um, so a better a better showing from this deck in this video for sure. Uh, unfortunately, the first video, we only got one win. Uh, this one, we did get two. I think this list is fine. I don't think it's amazing. Um, I think that the Blue-White Flyers archetype uh, is a very, very good one when it comes to the synergies that you can get. And I think certainly given Staggering Insight on turn two, uh, as we saw there, and I believe in the previous game, we, we really got to capitalize on that. We got to get a little bit of life gain going, we got to get some card draw going, and really capitalize on that. And I think that's what you have to do uh, to really, really get through with this deck. I think that's the key. Um, the problem is, if they remove your Staggering Insight or the creature that the Staggering Insight is on, more specifically, you're in a bad position. And so, I think you're kind of putting all your eggs in one basket. It feels very much like the um, mono blue aggro deck. However, that mono blue aggro deck had two plans going for it. It had, uh, this was from a previous standard environment, Dominaria, um, but it had this, the uh, the kind of similar thing where you enchant the creature and then you get to draw a card, I forget the name. Uh, but you also have the Jin, which was just a really strong three drop threat. Uh, considering how many lands you had on the field, it got a power boost. And so you kind of just had a really strong play and then just a really, like, you know, value play where you get a lot of card draw, that kind of thing. I think this has the value in the card draw. I don't think it has the amazing, powerful threat as early as that deck did. Uh, Safara, hugely powerful, don't get me wrong. And you can certainly ramp it out quite, quite early, uh, which is very, very good. And I think that needs to be the goal more so than, you know, the, the sticking to just the Staggering Insight plan. So um, I think the deck is fine. We might try it some more in some different iterations, but I think for now I'm going to put this one to rest. It is a very fun deck, though. Highly recommend trying it out, especially because it's not very expensive in terms of wild cards. So if you're interested in playing this one, I, I think it's an easy one to try out and just kind of see what you think. Maybe
maybe play around with some of those slots and see what you get. So thank you seriously to Adam. Uh, really do appreciate the suggestions. Again, he gave us a few, so you might see some of his, uh, you might hear his name again uh, going through some videos. But if you've got a deck that you want us to play, share it with us. We would love to try it. Give us a deck list. We'll, we'll be happy to give it a shot. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you enter our Aquaria giveaway going on right now. Uh, you, you enter, you subscribe, and the winner will be picked on uh, Saturday, May 16th. So you've actually got a few weeks to do it. So thank you guys. Really do appreciate it. I will see you very soon in the next gameplay video.